I don't want to think about the economy. I don't want to think about what is not working. But I've come to say thank you. 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 Not because of what you have done, not because of what you have done, but for who you are, but for who you are, but for who you are, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Don't wait for a song. Don't wait for a song. Don't wait for a song. Let your heart overflow in worship tonight. Oh, I give you praise, Jesus. What a privilege to worship. What a privilege to be called your own. What a privilege to worship tonight. What a privilege to be called your own. Eraka masum belen katana. Eleka barako shapanda lakatai. Eleka bako seke baratusa. Reke pako sheke teke pete. Elambra laka tu zaba laka tu sha. Reko seko poro tu shekende. Ina mana supra laka tu shetai. Reke teke bereke tu zapande. Elaka balaka supra kete. Ena mana mano shapa laka tai. Eraka bako sheke balika tai. Eka baka bako sheke te. O reo. Oh, eh, 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 O shubare mare o o e o o shubare mare o o e Oloru to la bara o shubare mawe o e e o shubare mawe o e oloru to la bara o shubare mawe o e e e e Oshu Eh, <laughs> The God of all possibilities, oh, you are the lover of a soul. Oshu bare bare o, eh eh eh. Oshu bare bare o, the leaves are up on the head o. Oshu bare bare o, eh eh eh. Oshu bare bare o. The God of wonders and miracles, Oshu Bare Mare O, Eh, 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 O 
Oshu Barema Reo Akala Balia Malani Nana Oshu Barema Reo Oshu Barema Reo Lolorutola Garao Oshu Barema Reo you're the lion and the lamb, the word of the Father. Forever you remain the same. You're the lion and the lamb, the word of the Father. Forever you remain the same. You're the lion and the lamb, the word of the Father. Forever you remain the same. You are the lion and the lamb. The word of the Father, forever you remain the same. Always like a to thee. Always like a to thee. You are the lion and the lamb, the word of the Father. Hey, forever you remain. The same. You are the lion and the lamb. You are the word of the Father. Forever you remain. The same. You are the lion and the lamb. You are the word of the Father. Hey, forever you remain. Never change it. You are the same. You're the lion and the lamb. You are the word of the Father. Hey, forever you remain. Oh, the same. Are you just give him glory one more time? E rakabali abalala bali le bele bali alabala la la mano sa. E kabaraka tu sha kali alabala di ata. E kabale kabaraka tu sha dali le mano sa. E kabarako sha keta li la balato sa. E rakamani sha de bali alabala bato sa. Rekosi kabala kata di na la la makuria. E sha kabali kabala kabala niza. En su cale y pare cabalatosa, a su atalambra la quia baladica, reconche que tiene ni la 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 manosa, y raca paca su que tiene de veneja, raca la la manaya la balanosa, reque barica barraca da dusa, y llena la malianta la manosa, y raca vale cata balataya, y recatica pare que Teta zeda la mana ira palaka ya tada jata le brali aba sola bala manosa eka baku seke te de 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 can you just imagine that you are before the king of kings and you are before the throne because we are actually before the throne tonight can you be before the throne of God and pay reverence and pay homage to the king of kings era tamani kala brali ala la bala manosa. Kabalika barika tala la bata, e shata la balia kabatosa, e rakata tapari kabala katiatana, e rakabale barato shatra, e shakabala kabara katatos, 
Jesus. Erika na balia tanane. Eshata tapara kato sekete. You are the lion and the lamb. Ayakata. The word of the Father. Sheparata. Forever you remain. Asakata to the palavalata. The same you are the same. You are the lion and the lamb. Shaparada. The word of the Father. I forever you remain the same. Nobody compares to our God. That song says you are the lion and you are the lamb. I know we have, we know what a lion is. We know how wild a lion can be, how loud it can roar, how brave it can be. Even though it's not so big in size, it's still the king of the jungle. And our God is likened to the lion and a lamb, gentle. The lamb that was slain upon the throne. He's our lion. And he's our lamb. And Jesus is the word that never changes, never changes, never changes. And so tonight at the altar, we are worshiping and we are laying down the bodies of our heart. I want you to see Jesus tonight as the lion and the lamb. The lion and the lamb. The lion and the lamb. And even though an elephant is big, it can never be as brave as the lion. It can never be as fast as the lion. It can never be as wise as the lion. So I don't know what body you brought or you have been carrying. But I wanted to know that at the altar tonight, at the altar tonight, we are before the lion and the lamb. The lamb that was slain before the foundations of the world. The lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. The lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. That blood of Jesus that was shed for you, ever potent, ever potent. And before the lion, and before the lamb, but before the word. That never changes. But before the lion, or before the lamb, and for the world that never changes. Forever you remain, forever you remain the same. Forever you remain, forever you remain the same. I forever you remain. Forever you remain the same. Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. We're going to be reading verse 28 to 30. Verse 28 to 30. One thing that we must be conscious of when we come into the presence of God is that when we come into his presence, there is always an exchange. There is always an exchange. There's always an exchange that should happen normally. But if we're not conscious of that, we can come in and live the same way we came. He says that Jesus said, come, to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you. Because I am humble and gentle at heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear. 
and the burden I give you is light. We have come tonight. I don't know how many of us are tired and weary. I don't know how many of us have been carrying a heaviness. But tonight, God has promised rest. Tonight, Jesus has promised rest. As we come, that exchange is going to happen at the altar. Can you open your mouth wherever you are and say, Jesus, I have come. This burden I have carried for the past few months, for the past five days, this burden I have carried does not belong to me. This worry I have carried is weighing me down. Is making me looking older than my age. This prayer point, and I've been claiming to be praying, but I've still been carrying the burden of the prayer point in my heart. I've not truly given it over to you. Tonight, at the altar, at the altar of worship, I lay it down. Tonight, at the altar of planting, I lay it down. Remember, when you sow a seed, you sow the seed alone. You don't sow the seed with wheat and encumbrances. You even clear the earth and ensure that the seed is going in alone. And you cover the seed and protect the seed before you allow the rain and other things to happen to cause it to grow. Can you say, Lord, tonight I have come. I have come to lay down this burden. I have come to lay down this burden. I will not carry this burden out after tonight. I don't know what burden you have carried, but I want you to be conscious and say, Jesus, I've given you this matter. I've claimed to have been praying over it, for a while now, but it seems that I go back and worry. I will not be a warrior. From tonight, Jesus, uh, this burden of my heart, uh, this burden of life, uh, this struggle in my business, uh, this matter with my health, uh, this issue with my spouse, uh, this issue with my children, whatever it is tonight, uh, can you please open your mouth and say, Jesus, uh, this is the end. As I drop it tonight, uh, I am not carrying it again. I drop it tonight. Uh, I am not carrying it again. Brothers and sisters, we can't be at the growth of Christ uh, if we are carrying heavy yokes, uh, if we are carrying heavy burdens. Uh, we cannot live the abundant life we are called to live. Uh, can we come to the altar tonight uh, and say, Lord, ah, rana manuse ke barika barakosa ta, eshente libra la katara, raka masunte lebene, erika barata lebre lebosa, ishata baraka tu sata, eshente Lord, oh, what peace we have for feet. Oh, what needless pains we bear. Oh, because we do not carry. Everything to God in prayer. Some of us have prayed these prayers for so long. And in our mind, why has God not answered? It's because we have not left it to Him. We have not left it to Him. Can you leave it at the altar tonight and say, Jesus, I'm done. I'm done. I'm John, I'm done carrying this burden. I'm done carrying this burden. As I pray tonight, this will be the last time I will carry this burden. I know you have heard me so far, but I will stop worrying. But I will stop worrying. But I will stop worrying because you, because you will take care of me. Because you who have promised to give me rest. 
Ashaka le parantala reko bosuria kata libra le kata e esuta le kata rakusa ta osha paneka kai. Can you begin to say Jesus? I receive your rest. I receive your rest. I receive your rest. I receive your rest. Concerning this matter that has made me cry. Concerning this matter that has made me weep. Concerning this matter that have given me anxiety. Lord, so far tonight, I receive your rest. I come into a new season of rest. I come into a new season of rest. I begin to live in my answered prayers. Brothers and sisters, can I remind us that even before we see the manifestation, we need to receive what God is doing in the spirit and begin to live our lives like it is already done. Can you say tonight, Jesus, I receive, I receive your rest. 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 He says, I will give you rest. Can you open your heart to receive? Open your heart to receive. Remember the song we sang in worship. He said, He's the word of the Father, forever remaining the same. Jesus, the word never changes. When He says a thing, He brings it to come to pass. If He says, I will do it, my brothers and sisters, consider it done. Can you say tonight, I receive your rest? I receive your rest. I receive your rest. I receive your rest. I receive your rest. No more worries. No more anxiety. No more worries. No more secret tears. I step into the new season of rest. I step into the new season of rest. I rest from all my labors. I rest. Supra kutu kumbo tikidika reko supra ketuza eranta la balada rako sibre leketia enamba lande leket ereko bosuria pananda eraka datika paradiso koto koto e shiza palada iraka da yeko bosuntere raka patala paratana isabalika paratuse e shekete ke pakuse ke pete i rest from all my labels. I rest from all the 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 labels. I rest for in Jesus' name we are praying. Verse 29 says, take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you. Because I am humble and gentle at heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart. I am humble and gentle at heart. And you will find rest for your soul. Remember, God is giving us rest. Now he says, I will give you rest as you drop your burdens. He also says, take my yoke upon you. And let me teach you. Take my yoke. So when we come to the altar and we lay down in worship and surrender, we receive his rest. And as we come into his rest, we also pick up his burden. Brothers and sisters, The best place to be, the best or highest thing you can be 
is an answer to God's prayer. I'll explain. I know that we want God to answer our prayers. But the best position any man can be is that he's an answer to God's prayer. Jesus was an answer to God's prayer when God sought for someone to pay the price for humanity's sin. Jesus answered his prayer. I mean prayer in quote now. If God can entrust you with something, if God can say, ah, who will stand for me? And he can find you. You are an answer to his prayer. And that's the best place to be. And in my little understanding, I know that God right now in this season is looking for sons that he will entrust responsibilities to. He's looking for people that he can trust. And so at the altar, the reason why we must not keep going back with our bodies is because there's a lighter yoke to carry. God's yoke. And you cannot carry your body and carry God's body effectively and deliver. Amen. I believe tonight we have dropped our bodies and we are going to pick up God's body. We are going to pick up God's body. We are going to pick up God's body. And we are going to open up ourselves to be taught of him. Can we pray tonight and say, Lord, thank you. See me before you. I'm available to carry your yoke. I am available to carry your burden. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me how to carry your burden. Teach me how to carry this yoke. Teach me how to carry the yoke you have given me. Some of us feel that the yoke God is giving us is too much. It's impossible. It's out of this world. It's because we have not asked him to teach us. And you say, Lord, tonight, teach me. I'm available to carry your yoke. Teach me. May you not search for a man and not find me. Lord, teach me. Teach me. I receive. I am willing. But I want you to teach me. I want you to teach me. I want you to teach me. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to take up your yoke. To take up your burdens. To take up your yoke. To take up your burdens. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So something comes to my mind. As we are in the planting season at the altar. And remember, we had looked, I mean, previous days at budding and bearing fruit, you know, and all of that. As the seed goes to the ground, we know from agriculture that the seed dies. I mean, it decomposes a bit before it starts growing. And as it grows, it begins to bear, it begins to carry more things. In the process of germination, it carries things, stalk, leaves, and then fruits, and all of the things begin to come up. And you begin to pray and say, Lord, I take your yoke. I carry your yoke. Some of us, God has called us to carry his yoke for our family. Some of us, God has called us to carry yoke for our community. Some of us, God has called us to carry his yoke in our churches. Some of us, God has called us on some mountains of influence to carry his yoke. And some of us have think that I've, I've, I've commonized it and feel that, oh, it's too so small. Oh, it's insignificant. Oh, I'm not known. So I've excused ourselves for not carrying the yoke properly. So I have said, oh, I don't even know what to do. Can you stay at the altar tonight and say, Lord, tonight I am available to carry your yoke and teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. He said, let me teach you. Let me teach you. He said, let me. It means that he's ready. It means that he's willing. But we need to be available. We need to be available to carry the yoke and be thought. 
and be taught. Lord, tonight, Lord, tonight, teach me tonight. Teach my brothers and sisters. Lord, teach us. Lord, teach us to be available to carry the yoke. Lord, teach us. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. And he says, and you will find rest for your souls. The first part says, I will give you rest in verse 28. Now, in verse 29, it says, you will find rest. That means to me that we will become so much in tune with the Lord that we'll begin to enjoy rest throughout the season of different phases of carrying the yoke. So initially it's like, oh, drop the load is heavy. Let me give you rest. You know, now take my yoke and carry it and you will find rest. You will find rest in life. You will find rest in every area. Because as I teach you, you will not be coming to me to say, oh, I'm tired, I need rest. You will, you will learn the ropes. I, Kabaluske, thank you, Jesus. You will learn the ropes. You will know how to retreat. You will know how to prevent, to, to, to endure or to avoid rather, burnout. You will know how to find rest. And to be the understanding I have is that finding rest comes with intimacy. Finding rest comes with intimacy. When we are not casual seekers, when we don't come every time, you know, initially you're like, oh, you're carrying heavy burdens, you come, go with your body, come, go with your body. But now you have dropped the, we have dropped the burdens and we are carrying his yoke and his light. But we keep coming and we keep finding rest as we come, as we stay. So our motivation to come is not the heaviness of the load, 
but it's the love for his presence. Can we pray and say, Lord, make me a carrier. Make me a carrier of your presence. I don't want to be a casual seeker. I don't want to be someone that will just come and knock, oh God, how far, and I'll leave. Make me conscious. Let it not be a Oh, one hour prayer time, I'm there. And then to the next day, one hour prayer time, I'm there. Let it be that I'll carry the yoke and I'll carry the burden and I will find rest because I carry you along in my day because I fellowship with you because prayer has become my lifestyle because I know how to be still because I know how to understand when you are drawing me in because I know how to come into a retreat because I know how to to allow you to interrupt my day without feeling offended because I know how to be sensitive to your needs for me can you pray tonight if you desire such and say God that I will live from a point of rest and I will know how to find rest because you you teach me because you teach me because you teach me and I will give myself to staying in your presence and growing intimately with you oh God this is my earnest desire It is not by human effort, but we are sponsored by the Spirit. Anytime you think it's about your effort, we miss the mark. It is about the Spirit of God. Can we say, carry me, Holy Spirit. Carry me, Holy Spirit. Sometimes we have the desire to stay, but we then get distracted by the world and by the cares. And it looks like we want to carry the burden again. Can you say tonight, carry me, Holy Spirit. Can you say tonight, carry me, Holy Spirit. Because the arm of flesh will fail. Because God is the one that works in us, both to will and to do of his own good pleasure. Can you say, carry me, Holy Spirit. Be my hunger and be my thirst. He is the one that gives the hunger. He's still the only one that satisfies it. Zoprokotokopoto. 
Hey, ah, the deer pass at four. The water so my soul longs after you. You alone at my heart's desire and I look to worship you. Psalm 42. Psalm 42. This is a psalm of the songs of Korah. I'm reading from verse 1. Psalm 42. As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I go and stand before him? I. Can we pray and say, Lord, give me a hunger. I don't know if you have seen a deer panting before, but if you seen something, somebody, Maybe after a race, panting is like gasping for air. Gasping for air. Someone that has run a long race. Gasping for air is like, I need to calm down and be sure that I'm inhaling enough oxygen so that I don't pass out. And that's how deers, you know, look for water. They look for water. They look for water. And it's like at that point, they cannot survive the next minute without it. I want you to pray. It says, day and night, I have only tears for food. While my enemies continually taunt me, saying, Where is this God of yours? I want you to pray and say, God, God, give me a hunger for your presence that you alone can satisfy. Give me a hunger. For your presence, that you alone can satisfy a genuine hunger. A genuine hunger. Because sometimes, as we are carrying that yoke, we might get um, carried away with the assignment. We can get carried away with the assignment. And we forget that we are supposed to be staying constantly refreshed by the Lord. Please pray tonight and say, Lord. Let me continually, consciously stay in the place of intimacy, drinking from you, getting my source from you. Remember, at the point of planting, if the seed leaves the ground, it will never be sustained. Even if it begins to grow and the fruit have not shown and it's not fully matured and it leaves the ground or it is uprooted or something crushes it, that is the end because there's no source of nutrient anymore. Please pray tonight and say, God, help me. God, help me. These sons of Korah were crying and saying, oh, where can we stay with the living God? Where can we go and stand before him? Because, you know, they have been hit by life. And let me tell you, even though we have dropped our bodies and we are carrying the yoke of God, life will still happen. Remember, we are in this world, but we are not of the world. But what will sustain us is when we stay planted and intimate, when we stay in the place of worship, where we flow from his presence. Can you pray one more time tonight and say, Father, in your mercy, Father, in your mercy, help Help me to wholly depend on you. Help me to wholly lean on you. Help me to always find strength in you. Help me to always be refreshed in you. Help me never to run on my own. You said you will teach me and I will find rest. May I continue in that path. May I continue in that path. A man that feels that he is so full. He is so full. He has known so 
so much about God. He's a man that cannot be used by God anymore. May I not be that man, oh God. Make me teachable. In Jesus' name, we are praying. One thing I believe, if you read through that psalm, that stood out for the sons of Korah, is that even though they were feeling discouraged and tired and were being mocked, they kept saying, Yes, I will praise him. Yes, I will praise you. If you look at it, you say, My heart is okay. Verse 4 My heart is breaking. As I remember how it used to be, I walked among the crowds of worshippers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of great celebration. He said, Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will praise him again my Savior and my God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. I feel very strongly that in this season, it will almost attract God's presence. Whenever we feel dryness or discouragement on the journey, we need to employ the tool of praise, of worship, Remember the extra oil for this month or for this season that the Lord spoke to us about as we're stepping into the new month. I pray for you. I pray for myself tonight that there will be people that are found to carry God's burden gracefully, gracefully, and there will be people that will operate from the place of rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining tonight's prayer call. Please note that the Global Church Summit registration has already been opened. It's happening in August. But it's great that we start registering now. Very important that we start making plans to attend. Check your calendar, register, 
and tell other people about it. If you want to be an exhibitor, you can reach out to me and I'll let you know how you can do that so that um, we can prioritize those of us in this community before the links are sent out to other exhibitors. You are also welcome to partner with us or to sponsor the, the summit. If you'd like to do so, you can please send me a message on WhatsApp and we'll take it up from there. God bless you. And please remember GCS in your prayers, your daily prayers. God is doing an awesome work and a move in these times. And we are privileged to be partnering with him and bearing this yoke with him. God bless you. Uh, we'll meet again to pray tomorrow. Uh, please also put our leader, Sister Adeshawa, in your prayers towards the planning of this great conference and also for her life in general. She has been an awesome blessing to us. Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. To enjoy the rest of your nights. And 